Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us, and welcome to What's New and What's Next for Networking. I'm Shalish Shukla, Vice President and General Manager for Networking. And I'm Wendy Carty, Director of Outbound Product Management. We had a very busy year, and we're so excited to share what we've been working on. We have a packed session, uh, and we'll cover our cloud networking portfolio, what's new in networking, network security, and monitoring. But first, the why of networking. In addition to being a critical part of the global cloud infrastructure, networking also drives real business outcomes for our customers. As workloads and workforces become increasingly global and increasingly distributed, the network is at the front and center of connecting, securing, and enabling everything while delivering a seamless experience to all applications, all users, and all devices. For example, our retail customers tell us that a high-performance network is directly tied to superior user experience, which translates to faster revenue conversion. That's the top line. I don't want to go through each of these items here, but what you will see is our customers tell us in all verticals across the world that networking is a key enabler for their business outcomes. Our cloud networking vision is centered on our customers. And the vision is this, planet scale networking for a smart and connected world. Google has built a massive planet scale network infrastructure serving billions of users today. And we are leveraging advanced AI, automation, and programmability to build a self-driving network that makes it simple, smart, trusted, and open so our customers can focus on running and enabling their business. Our global network is at your service with 27 regions, 82 zones, 146 edge pops, thousands of edge nodes, 16 subsea cable investments, connecting more than 200 countries and territories worldwide. We are proud to serve billions of users while staying 100% carbon neutral since 2007. And we continue to invest heavily in our infrastructure, our network. And just this year, we have already added four new cloud regions, Warsaw, Delhi, Melbourne, and Toronto. In addition, we have announced five subsea cables, Echo, Fermina, Blue, Raman, and Apricot, which connect all parts of the world from Asia, Europe, Africa, Middle East to the Americas. On top of this uh, massive global network, we offer a broad portfolio of network and security services that connect, secure, scale, optimize, and modernize your network and your infrastructure. To do that, we have a full stack of networking services from layer one to layer seven that provide high performance networking for all your workloads running in VMs, in containers, or on bare metal. 2021 has been an incredibly exciting year for us. We added several new products this year, including the Google Distributed Cloud, Cloud IDS Service, and enhanced our service networking portfolio with Network Connectivity Center, Private Service Connect, Network Intelligence Center enhancements, et cetera. Wendy will tell you a lot more about it. Let's get started. Wendy, over to you. All right, thank you, Shalish. We have a lot of exciting announcements, so let's take a look at what's new in networking. I would like to introduce our Google Distributed Cloud Strategy, which provides a fully managed, integrated hardware and software solution that extends Google Cloud's infrastructure and services to edge locations and customer's data center. Our distributed cloud solution is enabled by Anthos through a centralized control plane so customers can build and run modern applications anywhere with low latency and operational efficiency. Google Distributed Cloud is ideal for local data processing, low latency edge compute workloads, modernizing on-prem environments, running sensitive workloads to meet sovereignty requirements, and offering private 5G LTE solutions for enterprise customers. It can be deployed at Google Edge, Operator Edge, Customer Edge, and or customer data centers. We announced Network Connectivity Center, or NCC, a few months ago, and it is now generally available. 
NCC provides a simple and consistent management model to connect your on-prem and cloud networking needs seamlessly. With NCC, you can connect VPNs, partner and dedicated interconnects, SD-WANs, and third-party router appliances in a hub-and-spoke model. And we've partnered with SD-WAN leaders like Cisco, Fortinet, Palo Alto Networks, Versa, and VMware, enabling you to simplify connectivity from branch to cloud. In addition to network connectivity, uh, network layer connectivity, we also offer service layer connectivity with Private Service Connect or PSC. PSC provides a service-oriented networking model by abstracting the underlying network, such as peering, IP address, configuration, etc. PSC allows you to create private and secure connections from your cloud networks to producer services such as cloud storage, cloud big table, or third-party services from Elastic, MongoDB, or Snowflake. PSC is now GA in all regions, and we introduced three new enhancements. PSC with consumer service controls is now in preview. With HTTPS service controls, PSC allows customers to have finer grained control of their own policies and support data regionalization for sovereign clouds. We added HTTPS internal load balancer as a PSC target to help scale services. For example, you can configure the load balancer to log all requests to cloud logging or choose which services are available using a URL map. PSC is integrated with service directory, so you can auto-register available services to make service consumption even faster and simpler. This is so cool that companies like Bloomberg, Elastic Cloud, and MongoDB shared why they are using Private Service Connect. And we hope you will also test drive PSC and let us know how you like it. Now, moving up the service stack, let's talk about GKE and Anthos networking. We released a lot of features in GKE and Anthos networking recently, and we are only going to cover four today. First, GKE Gateway Controller is Google Cloud's implementation of the Kubernetes Gateway API, and it manages internal and external HTTPS load balancing for a GKE cluster or a fleet of GKE clusters. It is currently in preview and will GA this quarter. Second, Cloud DNS for GKE supports the full Kubernetes DNS specification, and it will GA this quarter. It provides pod and service level resolution with a fully managed DNS that does not require a cluster hosted DNS provider, so it removes the overhead of managing cluster hosted DNS. For bare metal fans out there, a BGP-based load balancer for Anthos Bare Metal is now in preview, supporting N-way active-active redundancy for faster failover and efficient utilization of bandwidth. And lastly, with the increasing use of container network functions or CNFs, we are introducing multi-NIC pods on Anthos Bare Metal, which allows pods to attach to multiple network interfaces for use cases such as data and control plane separation, multi-tenancy, man management functions, et cetera. Now, we covered edge, hybrid connectivity, service layer networking, GKE, Anthos networking. What's next? We're gonna talk about application delivery. Our application delivery portfolio offers layer seven load balancing and layer four network load balancing. In the layer seven load balancing family, we are introducing regional external load balancer, which supports distribution of HTTP and HTTPS traffic to backends hosted on Compute Engine and GKE. Our layer seven load balancers are now converged on Envoy, a CNCF open source project as the common data plane. Leveraging Envoy Proxy, the regional external load balancer provides advanced traffic management capabilities such as routing and traffic policies so you can steer traffic where you want it. In addition, we added support for hybrid load balancing. Hybrid load balancing supports workloads running on-prem in Google Cloud or in other clouds to help customers with migration, performance optimization, and high availability. 
you can use external or internal HTTPS load balancing in addition to TCP SSL proxy. Together, they not only load balance endpoints on GCP, on-prem, or other clouds, they can extend Cloud Armor to provide DDoS protection to your services and leverage Cloud CDN for low latency performance. Next, let's take a quick look at DNS enhancement. Now today, thousands of customers use our Cloud DNS, and we've added a lot of enhancements. One to highlight is Cloud DNS Policy Manager, which is in preview. It enables you to steer private and internet traffic using dynamic responses from Cloud DNS. Policies may be set up using wait around Robin and or geolocation rules, and includes health checks, which can be used for automatic failovers. You can use this to manage traffic in a multi-vendor environment, direct traffic, and set up failover traffic patterns. Let's take a look at what's new in network security. We announced many new security enhancements this year, such as hierarchical firewall, cloud armor rate limiting, and cloud IDS. We are excited to announce the preview of cloud armor bot and fraud management, which leverages reCAPTCHA Enterprise to detect and stop unwanted bot activity at the edge of the network. This integrated DDoS, WAF, and bot detection solution uses signals collected in the browser plus threat data to automate the detection of fraud. While customers can use these products together already, we are simplifying the deployment process and providing a more integrated experience so customers can accelerate their time to value. For more information, please attend the session on DDoS, WAF, firewalls, and network-based threat detection. Next, we announced Cloud IDS in July with our partner, Palo Alto Networks. Cloud IDS provides a fully managed network threat detection service with high levels of security efficacy and low noise. We worked closely with Palo Alto Networks to embed their industry-leading threat detection technologies and deeply integrated them into our cloud beyond having a uniform usage model across the UI, APIs, and command line. This means that customers can pick from GCP native targets, including anything from a VPC, to a specific workload, and even leverage our flexible tagging capabilities to identify what they want to monitor. We surface the alert information in the Google Cloud UI, APIs, and cloud logging systems, plus feed the data to our security command center, Chronicle, and third-party SIM and SOAR products. It's quick and easy to deploy as it is managed, scaled, and operated by Google with high performance and availability all built in. Now with all the great products, what about day two ops? Let's take a look at monitoring. Our flagship monitoring product, Network Intelligence Center, has been expanded with several new modules recently. Network topology lets you view actual flows, traffic pattern changes, ingress, egress bytes over VPN and interconnect to and from the internet, and GCP managed services. Support for VPNs and interconnect is now in preview, and support for Google managed services is now GA. Global performance dashboard gives you real-time metrics such as latency and packet loss for the Google Cloud network, as well as visibility into the performance of your project's resources. With connectivity tests, you can check the connectivity between a VM instance and GCP managed services, such as GKE and Cloud SQL, and troubleshoot issues at any time. Well, I hope you enjoy the what's new in networking session. To learn more, please take the time to view the deeper dive sessions on these topics and visit our website for more information. Thank you for joining us.